It then says the dice is thrown twice and the sum of the scores is definitely greater than eight. Find the probability that the sum of, sum of the two scores is actually greater than 10. So we need to do a similar thing that we did part one. We need to look at all the possible outcomes um, that fit this criteria. So all the outcomes that are given answer greater than eight and then work out the pro all the, the scores that actually give us an answer greater than 10 and have that as the numerator over, over the, the greater than eight denominator. I think the easiest way to do that is a really quick sample space. So one first dice, second dice, and then we need to think about when are we start gonna when are we gonna start getting numbers greater than eight? Um, let's just draw some lines between here so we can follow what we're doing. So greater than eight. We're gonna have a two and an eight won't be big enough. The first one bigger than eight is gonna be a three sorry a two and a six will be eight um a three and a six a four and a five a five and a four and a six and a three will all give us an answer greater than or equal to eight and so will the rest of the options so that tells us that we are now looking at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten possible outcomes and we want the probability that the sum of the two scores is greater than 10. And there's three things that can happen to give us a, a score greater than 10. There's two ways to get an 11, and obviously the double six gets us a 12. So there's three ways out of the 10 possible ways that we'll get a score greater than 10.